Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here from GoBear Games, back with another statue tutorial. Today we are doing a Michael from GTA statue. So, Michael from GTA 5, the much loved character. So, this is not going to be the only GTA character we're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, hopefully, as soon as possible, hopefully within this week. And I hope that you like this as much as I do because I think it's a really cool series and I think it could have some real good potential. So if you do like it then definitely leave a like, comment below and subscribe if you haven't and join the pack. And that's about it. On screen right now you should be seeing some screenshots of it in each different texture pack. But I'm not going to waste much more time. Hopefully you enjoy the tutorial and I will see you there. Okay guys, so let's get straight on into the tutorial. So the blocks you'll need to build the Michael statue are black wool, grey wool, white wool, light grey wool, oak wood planks, spruce wood planks and oak wood logs. Okay, so we are going to start off as always by building an 8 long line. This time it is of black wool, like so. Then on top of this we're going to build an 11 high of grey. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're going to do solid grey wool. So the legs is one layer of eight. One by eight of black. So one layer of black. And then 11 layers of grey wool. And that is your legs complete. Now this is a very nice and simple statue. So it should take us a matter of minutes to complete. It shouldn't take us too long at all. As it is a very nice and simple statue. But also has a very nice effect. And you should be able to recognise him. If you built him, hopefully your friends, if they came on your world, would be able to recognise him straight away. Hopefully is the... Uh, I guess the emphasis on that. Okay, so next of all, we're going to do three long of black, two light grey, and then three black. And then now what we're going to do is extend it to the left four using oak wood planks, and to the right four using oak wood planks. So the current situation should be that it should be 13 blocks tall and 8 blocks wide, excluding the arms. Including the arms or the bottom of the arms, it should be 16 blocks wide and 13 blocks tall so this is what it should look like as I said 1 by 8 11 by 8 and then 1 by 8 including the arms okay so for the arms we're going to double it up and add another layer of oak wood planks onto each one and then on top of that we do 4 white wool each side like so now on top of that we do do 9 grey uh, wool yeah I, I was about to say something else grey wool um, but we're going to do that afterwards. So now what we're going to do is count 11 up. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Using grey wool again. And do the second row. Like so. Leave the third, fourth, fifth, sixth row. And then same for this one. So just count up like that. So 11 by 2 on each side. Excluding a full wide gap in the middle. And whilst we're at it we are going to build 9 up using grey wool so it should be one two three four five six seven eight nine there we go using grey wool and that will be the arms complete as i said this is nice and simple and should not require much effort um a lot of blocks but not much effort compared to some of the other statues i've done in the past so hopefully that's a good thing for most of you and it should look like this okay so now what we're going to do for the final step of the front of the body is fill this 4 by I guess 11 gap using white wool we are going to punch two blocks out but I will do that in a second so it should look like this you just fill it in solid white wool these two middle blocks here we punch out and replace with oak wood planks and that is it nice and simple so it should be looking like this so far if it isn't then pause here and catch up bear in mind the dimensions of this should be 12 by 8 for the legs so the legs are from this black block here to the last grey one 12 by 8 for the body so this first black block here to the last grey one here and then 12 by 4 for the arms so the first oak to the first grey so hopefully that will I guess sort it out for you guys and if you need to pause here as I've mentioned if you don't then let's move on okay so we're going to do the side first we're going to do the right side and we're going to place one black block and then build a 2x2 two two square next to it. So we're extend extending it by 3. But I've done it in the form of 1 and a 2x2 two two square. Because you have to do 2 on the second layer. And on the second layer we're going to place 1 grey wool like so. And then extend upwards 10 all the way across using grey wool. 
Now we're going to do this the exact same on the left side, so we're going to do that quickly. So one black block and then two by two square. I apologise for my computer fan kind of going a bit crazy there. Let's try and move it away from my microphone as much as possible. Uh, that kind of sucks. Bad thing about having a laptop. So as I said, the exact same. So like that. And I will just zoom out so you can see what it looks like. It should look like this. should be a 12 by 4 area. Okay. Now what we're going to do is come to the bottom of the hands and extend it backwards free all the way across until it's a 4x4. You will only be able to see a 3x4 but technically it's a 4x4 because we've got the part of the front and hopefully the computer fans will uh, calm down in a second. So back to the right side it should look like this from a back perspective there should be like a diagonal interchange here which could be linked like that but we're not going to do that yet. Okay so we're going to place three oak wood planks like that, three white wool and then up to the top using grey wool so it should be nine like the front and that is the side of the arm complete nice and simple should look like this including the bottom of the leg this is what the whole right side should look like and again it is nice and simple to do and hopefully you'll be able to uh, copy it so for the other side it's the exact same we add a layer of oak wood planks layer of white and then nine layers of grey wool Okay, and that's it. Again, for the left side, I'll zoom out so you guys can see it, but this is essentially what it should look like. Okay, so for the back, the back is very simple. What we're going to do is we are going to do a 6x2 area of black wool. And on top of this, we're going to build 10 up using grey wool. And it should come in line with this first grey wool that we built here, which should be the side of the legs that we just finished. So that will be a good marker of where you're at. You don't really need to count at this stage because you can just match it up to the fronts and the sides. Okay, so it should look like this so far. Okay, now on top of here we do an eight long line of black wool and that should link the two arms together like so. And now we've just got this section here. Okay, so here we're going to place three oak wood planks, three white and then nine grey. And we're going to do the exact same for the other side. So three oak wood planks, three white and then 9 grey, now I'm going to do that quickly and then in this middle section here again it's just solid grey so no detail but that is very uh, very realistic to his character he's just wearing a plain grey suit for the uh, majority of the story so we don't want to be adding unnecessary detail which makes it too I guess over the top or too far fetched from what the original character actually looks like in the interest of trying to make it look more detailed so we don't want to be doing that one, we want to keep it as simple as possible and as realistic as possible and hopefully we have done so okay so the whole back should look like this I'm going to zoom out one last time so that you can see it bear in mind it should be 24 blocks tall and essentially 16 wide if you're including the arms 8 wide if you're not okay so for the shoulders what we're going to do is fill it in with solid grey wool like so, just to go with the general gist of the suit theme and that is it, that is the body complete so now what we're going to do is move on to the head but I will give you guys one last spin around of the body so that you can see it, so let's get rid of my hand and this is the front of the statue moving around to the right side there's the right side then we have the back and then the left side okay so let's move on to the head let's not waste any more time let's see how far we are into the video we are currently at seven minutes that is nice and fast it should be a tutorial no longer than maybe 15 minutes including the intro outro etc so let's try and keep this as nice and short as possible so what we're going to do is count from the left we're going to count four in and on the fifth block place a light grey wall and bring it forwards two exact same on the other side so count in four fifth block light grey wall bring forwards two now we're going to join this using light grey wall so it should be a six by two gap like so then what we're going to do is we're going to do three grey or three, should I say three light grey on top of this light grey wall two spruce wood planks throw that away we don't need it anymore and then three light grey Next row we do one light grey, six oak, one light grey. Next row we do one uh, oak, one white, one black, two oak, one black, one white, one oak. Next row we do one oak, two oak logs upright, they must be upright not sideways, 
two oak planks, again two more oak logs upright, and it should look like this. Next row is eight oak wood planks, like so. Then we do two oak planks, four black, two oak planks, and then the next row and final row for the front of the head is eight black. So this is the front of Michael's face, I guess you could say, and it is very simple. So if you need to, pause here and catch up. If not, we are going to move on very rapidly, because let's try and get this done, or should I say, most of it done before the night falls. Okay, so we're going around to the right side again. I don't know why I always go to the right side, but I do. So what we're going to do is where this grey leaves off, we're going to extend it out backwards 5, so it should overhang the end like 2, and go up 1 on the last block. On top of this grey, we're going to do a 2x2 two two block of oak wood planks, and we're going to go up three like so. In this middle block here, so count one, two, second block to the side like so. And then this whole gap here is black wool. So we just fill it in nice and quickly and nice and, uh, I guess, efficiently. Let's quickly fill this in before it goes nighttime. I'm going to have to sleep in a second anyways because we're using dark materials and I want to make the uh, video as clear as possible. So this is the right side of the head and this is what it should look like. If you need to, pause here and I'm going to quickly sleep so you guys can probably see it a bit better in the daytime. After that I'll move on to the left side and then we are almost done. Okay, so as I said, this is the front of his face, 8x8. The right side, 8x8. Now onto the left side. So for the left side, what we're going to do is punch out one light grey out, so it's only two light grey on this side. And then we're going to do six oak wood planks, again should overhang the back two. And what we're going to do on the end one, up one oak wood planks, like the, this side. Again, like the other side, two by two of oak wood planks. Up three, and then the second block to side one, and then the rest is black wool. So it should be up six in this case and to the side six or should I say to the right six and then fill this whole area in black now I will let you see a uh, zoomed out version in a second as I said because I know I didn't explain that too great so it should look like this okay so now for the back what we're gonna do is join these two parts together using six oak wood six by two should I say and then we're gonna do one more layer of six oak wood like that now what we're going to do is fill this whole gap in here, which should be 6 wide and 6 tall, using black wool. And then that leaves us with our final step, which is to fill in the top of the head solid black. Nothing too difficult. So that is the back of the head. And then moving on to the top, we just fill it in with solid black wool. And then we have built Michael from GTA 5. So if you enjoyed this or found it at all helpful, then definitely leave a like and comment below. Also subscribe if you haven't and stick around for more videos, I will be doing the other characters from GTA 5. Also if you're into uh, multiplayer GTA 5 videos, I've done a few videos on Vanos and his crew and uh, in the form of their GTA 5 characters, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. If you're into GTA 5 then you probably will. So I'm going to give you one last spin around of the character before I uh, end off I guess. So this is the front of the body. Again it should be 12 by 8 and then for the legs 12 by 8 for the body so 24 by 8 in total the arms should be 12 by 4 each and it should look like this okay so the head should be 8 by 8 by 8 this or should I say this head I was about to say this uh, hat this head has no hat effects so it does not have any abnormal figures so it should be 8 by 8 by 8 and it's nice and simple. Hopefully you enjoyed this, as I said, and that's about it. I'm almost done spinning around, and yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you'll stick around for mu 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 more tutorials. You can tell it's late at night. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, also, I apologize for lack of tutorials recently. I'm going to try and get a few more out. But anyway, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I've been Tom, and until next time, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out, then fill the hole. Tell me apart.